Hello, welcome to my second league match of the season, playing Sammy here. Uh, this is my second match in the A tier as well. I finished 3-3 uh, three and three in my first match, which feels pretty good. Uh, let's take a look and see what we've got going here. Um, we can trash coppers pretty effectively with Bonfire and Moneylender, which is certainly something we want to do. It's more difficult to trash estates. Um and runes, and there are uh, ways to give out runes and Marauder and Cultist, so that's going to be an issue. Uh, um, Desperation can also do something with um, Cultist, potentially, if you need to spike Cultist. I don't know, I don't really want to take Curses on, though. Um, there's plus buy with Wine Merchant, but I don't really think we're building to bigger than single province turns here. Um, maybe I'm wrong in that, depending on the build order, how we build, but it's going to be... Sending is going to be a bit slow, and then we're going to be trashing, and then we're going to be um, adding in some payload, and wine merchants are decent payload, but I figure we're probably going to just go with, um, like, get a gold or a, wine mer a couple wine merchants and then go from there. Um, it remains to be seen if we go for cultists, marauders, cardinals. Um, village support's a little bit tight, and there is somewhat good thinning coppers with moneylender, but... Being said, if you can get your opponent a bunch of runes pretty quickly, that's very, very nice. Um, Bonfire Moneylender is interesting because then you have a nine card deck. But if you draw two estates, two coppers, Moneylender, you only hit four there. So it's real tough to hit five when you open Bonfire Moneylender. Um, actually, Bonfire is somewhat decent at thinning uh, thinning runes. It's not great, but it's, it's something at least. Um, so... That's quite so. If we open like silver money lender and just try to go down the cultist route, get some cultists going early, um, maybe we pick up some forts, do some bonfires along the way um, to thin out some runes or other other cultists. Uh, are there uh, treasures? Um, try to line up ports with cultists. That's the hard part, I think. Um, we could go trade route money lender and just try to get real thin. Hope they don't collide. Try to get thin thin the estates, get coppers, get some ports early. And then transition to Cultist once you've thinned out a little bit more. I feel like that deck just takes tons of curses, though. Tons of runes, though. So they just went straight for Bonfire. As I said, unless they have a plan that I'm not seeing, they're going to go Desperation Cultist here. Um, that deck's got exactly five money in it. So if they don't draw their entire deck, they're not going to see... Not gonna be able to get a cultist. Um, they get desperation for cultist here, but they're gonna be able to play one cultist to turn, so it'll be really tough for them to get two. So um, trade out is the alternative, obviously. If we get trade out, we can just start thinning, go trade out money lender, hope they don't collide, get some ports, just try to get thin that way and hope that hope that they don't uh, ruin us into oblivion. Um, and then from there, with that deck, try to pick up some ports, then we can pick up some peddlers and get going that way. Um, it goes against my best judgment, but I don't know. I guess it doesn't because I just clicked on it. So um, it's a decent start. We did not see our um, we did not see our two terminals colliding. I'm gonna grab ports now, as was the plan. Um, I'm gonna, they grabbed a trade out themselves. Okay. Um, sorry, they grabbed a cultist. Yeah, they hit five and I didn't, which is annoying because they had a lot fewer coppers in their deck. Um, but it is what it is. Um, so I can just go two more ports. I can go Marauder. I can do my own bonfire now. Um, yeah, because I have the trade route going already i think i'm happy to this is a very sad draw for me um i do want to thin the states i think so i will trash this and i have ports already so i'll get a courtyard um this is a sad sad draw to collide the two um especially with the trade out missing the shuffle if the trade out doesn't miss the shuffle then it's reasonable for them to collide on the other side okay so i can top deck a copper here Yeah, so now I think I can support. Um, I'm gonna get one more pair of ports here, I think. 
Next turn, I have trade route. Hopefully, draw some ports. Get a uh, get a peddler going. So yeah, I should definitely be able to buy a peddler here. Uh, maybe buy a peddler and cultists with best draw. Um, they seem to have drawn a little bit better than me to start. Um, so they seem to be quite a bit ahead right now. Um, I was surprised. I didn't think the deck that Bonfire had turned one, open Bonfire on Leander, could hit Cultist reliably on five. Um, I'll have to do the math on that later. Um, we'll see if it works out. That math takes a couple of minutes to do, so I didn't want to sit here and think it out, and I often would use a spreadsheet to figure that out after the fact. They did run out of terminals, so they weren't able to play. So yeah, if I have four, in theory, I could play my Moneylender, my Courtyard, my Trade Route this turn, and buy like a Cultist and a Peddler. Um, I have two ports in a courtyard down there, so unless I bottom decked, you know, most of those, then I've got a decent chance of drawing through to see that. They may add a silver here. Silver seems reasonable um, for what they're trying to do. Yeah, so they were able to uh, to draw into a port here and find find a turn, which is not completely absurd, but a little bit um, frustrating how bad that one shuffle was for me, bottom decking my couple of ports in the courtyard. Um, if I'd drawn that, I would be about a half turn ahead of where I am right now. Um, and I suspect I'm about... A half turn behind, so it would have been pretty close to even. Um, they are now out of coppers, is that right? Yeah, so they don't have trade route food or um, money lender food, although they can trade out the money lender. Um, I have a couple of runes, which maybe will be bad because I can't draw through them. Although, you know, I've got two coppers, money lender, trade route, and this runes. So I've got five stop cards. So if I can see the cultist or the courtyard before I see either the other stop cards in this shuffle, I can uh, get a nice turn off. And I guess if I stop this turn, I already have the money lender and I'll have seen the, the trade route as well. So um, plus buy does seem like the the pivotal um, the pivotal thing here. Um, and I guess you could just get money lender. It seems, yeah. I guess you just get money lender. Doesn't really matter. Um, okay. So yeah, I can trade route copper, money lend, and I've got six. Um, they did at some point buy another pair of ports, um, but I did thin two cards this turn. So I think money lender peddler makes the most sense for me as well. I'm just going to be behind in the Peddler split pretty significantly. They're going to win that 7-3 here. Um, and I don't really have a way around that. But we'll see if I can get a good turn off this turn. And perhaps um, contest them for some of these key piles. Um, I actually gave them another plus buy with that ringed market. If we didn't have the wine merchant turn, I would have thought about not uh, playing it. So again, I drew three of my stop cards. I only have um, five total stop cards in the deck. So it's a little bit uh, annoying to consistently draw three of them in the top. But they just get three, three peddlers here and they win the peddler split 7-3. And I'm pretty much dead. Um, I think just entirely second player here. I don't think my strategy... Um, you know, the one turn they drew a port. They didn't have to draw a port off the top uh, when they played a peddler. Um, what turn was that? Turn nine, um, they drew, played some peddlers. If they didn't see ports and peddlers, if they hit one of their bad cards, they uh, have to stop there. Um, and then similarly, turn seven for me, I uh, couldn't find my stuff. So um, slight differences in shuffles here. Um, 
and they can just get three peddlers and I don't know two par two two ports or um, another cultist seems reasonable. Discard the wine merchant, and then be content with the with the big lead and payload because they've got seven to three in cult in peddlers. The rune market being on top there was also really annoying, but I don't really know what I what I could have done about that. Um, if I don't play my cultist last turn, I uh, I could have not played the cultist. I think I leave an abandoned mine on top of my deck. Oh, no, I just leave the port on top of my deck. I could not play the cultist and not give them the rune, but that seems worse than than what I did. All right, let's see if we can find some draw cards. All right, we found our cultist. All right, so we do get off a money lender here. We can trade route library or let's figure out what I want to buy here. I've got 10 and three buys. It could be 11 and three buys. Um, I could go like another pair of ports and cultists that would, that would need 11 and then um, lower those piles, try to lower the runes, gives me a little bit of pile pile pressure having the other cultists, a little bit more reliability, although they have quite a bit of reliability. I can't actually play both these, so I've only got 10. Um, I'd go for Cardinal, try to mess with their deck that way. Um, I could go two pairs of ports, but I've only got three gains, so that makes it a little tough. Well, so if they play their Cultist, they do have to then score next turn, because I can play a Cultist by three things. That's interesting. Two pairs of ports. Um, they are first player, but it doesn't seem to cause them much problem. Um, so a pair of ports and a... Estate. Estate activates their trade out. It activates mine. They've got a little bit of food for it. Um, this is somewhat tough. You can always desperation if you need extra, extra money. I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy cultist ports. Um, cultist port desperation. Um, and see how that goes. I don't think I'm leaving them a pile out, but they have to be worried about my piling out. And I don't think I want to buy a copper. I'll buy one copper. It increases my maximum payload if I can draw. They might have a pile out. I may have not given them the credit for what their deck can do. I was pretty sure they only had um, four buys, though. Um, oh, I took the curse. So maybe they do just have a pile out here on ports, um, runes, and curses. Well, they've already given me the curse. They have four buys, so they should, shouldn't should have it here. If I'm, oh, they just have a lot more money than I have, though. Oh, they have the the wine merchants. I guess yeah. I'm not not quite sure what I was hoping hoping would happen here. Um, if I can draw, if they double province, if they double province here, um, I have to double province and empty another pile. Oh, they just have the pile out. Yeah, the rude market. I wasn't counting that they bought another wine merchant. Um, I was pretty lost, anyways. I don't know. Um, Perhaps I had other lines that gave me a little bit more chance, but I just had a better better deck because of the, the player order there. Um, we move on to game two.